Hey, I'm Matt, uh, the manager up at Glengarry Greylin, uh, up on 16 Williamson Ave. Uh, here today to talk about a couple of beers. All right, so on my right here, we've got the Erdnam's Ghost Ship Pale Ale um, from a yes, traditional English brewery, been around for over 100 years, founded sort of the 18, late 1800s, should I say. And uh, there's an interesting story behind the Ghost Ship label. Uh, that is that Wilberswitch, the home of the brewery, is supposedly one of the most haunted locations in uh, the UK. Interestingly, this one actually uses American hops in it, so kind of, I don't know, atypical, I suppose you'd say. Um, also has the citra hop, which is known for its citrus sort of characters, um, which, I, yeah, I thought was interesting when I found that out. Uh, and then on the left here, we have the Lee Sawmill Pale Ale. Uh, this is brewed up in the beautiful Lee, Sunny Lee, and uh, by a guy called Mike. And uh, he's pretty new to the game, uh, having had something of a career change recently. He took over a brewery and in six months had to learn the ropes. And he's doing a pretty good, pretty good job of it so far. So nice little package, well, both of them nice packages. And uh, we'll see what they taste like. All right. First thing we know, I guess, a lot more head there, nice creamy head on that one. And this one here, I guess, quite similar in color, maybe a tad more carbonation in the uh, sawmill pale ale. And perhaps this one slightly more copper colored. Um, this is perhaps class more sort of traditional pale ale, gold color. So we've got the two side by side. Uh, I guess the first thing we notice, the Lee pale ale, more of a gold color whereas the ghost ship, a bit more coppery, um, both sort of standard pale ale type colors. All right, so the Adnams, now the taste test. So quite a soft, I guess, caramelly malt characteristics come through. Um, you get a tad of the, the citrus type hops, but quite, quite well integrated. Like you don't get one or the other, it's not, rich, then hoppy, they're, they're just sort of there together, mingling. Um, yeah, just a, a lovely, really sessionable beer. And again, I, I have to say, like, <clears throat> you know, the English beers are known for being designed as session beers, um, not traditionally as hoppy and as bitter as New Zealand and American beers. Okay, and then onto the Lee Pale Ale. A lot sweeter, sort of richer caramel flavor than, than the Adnams. Um, the hops, they, they don't really show through as much as I would have expected. You get them at the end, you know, a nice sort of cleansing bitterness, but initially you get a lot of the rich caramel maltiness, and that would probably be the main sort of feature of this beer. Um, again, like the Adnams, just nice sessionable beer, great for a hot day. The Lee Sawmill beers are unpasteurized, um, and so essentially they have to be kept cold. Otherwise, um, if, if you buy some and stash them away for a rainy day, they will go bad, basically, in the bottle. Um, these fully pasteurized, filtered beers, they're, they're gonna happily sit on the shelf for a while. Also, come up to Glen Gary Gray Lynn. We've got a pretty extensive range up there of beers uh, from England, New Zealand, uh, all over the world, we've got American beers as well, so um, plenty of exploration to do up there, I'm sure, for any beer geek. And, uh, but, you know, all the Glengarry stores are well stocked with all these New Zealand and international craft beers, so you won't be disappointed anywhere you go.